Alrighty, good morning, guys. We are going to get started with From the Ashes, a mod slash engine from Finnick. Um, I Alt F4 out of the game so that I can start from the beginning for you guys because I actually had the uh, the intro running there, so we had some background music. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Lawman. So, you know what? Let's get this started. There it is. Okay. So keep in mind, as you can see, this is an alpha version, so Finnick still has some some ways to go. Uh, but it should be completable if I understood it correctly. Uh, we got this up. Uh, I don't think we're going to mess with either of these. Uh, options. I kind of took a look already. I think everything should be fine. Uh, I think... I don't think I ever really changed controls. It's been a while since I've thoroughly played XCOM, so... Uh, I'm just kind of double-checking everything as well. Uh, a couple of new keys here for for the game itself. Been waiting for this pie? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Zero Fox. Just sit back and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I suppose we could show that. Oh, okay, Pi. Alright, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it, I think it is, Lawman. <laughs> um, so, I think I mentioned this before, but just in case I wasn't clear or didn't, um, I have played this before, but I didn't get very far, so most of the game is going to be brand new for me, so you guys are going to get to stumble along with me. Um, I, I went through this earlier, uh, like right before I started the stream, everything should be pretty well set. Uh, I'm leaving this off for now, because I don't think there's anything I'm going to need. But if we want to change it later, we can. I, I might mess with these two later. Uh, I don't recall what I prefer here. Uh, there was one thing I turned on. Uh, what was it? Oh, allow building queue. I turn that on because, I mean, really, is it that big of a deal? The the it's the building's gonna go up anyway. I mean, if anything, that just makes it easier for me not to forget, which I guess could be part of the game is remembering what you're doing. But when you finish building a building or a facility, it still warns you anyway, so I mean, what, you're gonna lose 30 seconds of in-game time, because time reset to 5 seconds and you had to click OK and then click bases? I mean, it is what it is. So I think we're set. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to do new game. Uh, I don't know. What, what difficulty should we do, guys? Veteran? <laughs> I 
Nice pie. Experience is fine as well. Um, I mean, I guess we could go superhuman, but I kind of want to get through the game. <laughs> That's got to be it. <laughs> hey, snipers and XCOM get to have a whole lot of fun. Make sure the med bay is active. Ah, that's what you were referencing. I, I figured it was a song, Pi. I just didn't know which one. <laughs> Here we go again. It's Pi. Uh, we'll we'll do veteran, I suppose. It's right in the middle. Uh, I know XCOM Files was balanced around veteran difficulty. I mean, beginners, pretty easy. Uh, I don't know how difficult the game gets later, so I I don't even know if the game's finished being balanced. So I guess we'll see. The Council of Funding Nations has decided to terminate the XCOM project and all its activities. Perhaps this has something to do with the recent changes of Council membership, with several of its members facing clearly fabricated charges. Agents of a top-secret super-governmental super organization known to us as the Men in Black have been assigned to the Council as the exclusive security force. We are confident that the purpose of this organization extends far beyond the protection services. There are reasons to suspect them of aiding the aliens, and they are trying to cover up any traces of their activity. That's what it is, Pi. That's what it is. Commander of XCOM has been called to the Council to receive the final instructions. Two days later, he returned to the base accompanied by MIB agents and initiated the Oblivion Protocol, an irreversible encryption of the UFOpedia, XCOM's archive of scientific and technological achievements, decreed dismissal of all personnel, and issued orders to dismantle the base facilities. Exalt's back! All of his colleagues noticed some peculiar changes in his behavior. Communication became more drastic and formal, and there is a steep decrease of empathy. We have already documented such personality changes in some of our field agents, and we assume that this indicates some form of external mind control. You know the commander well. He would never so easily destroy what we have been working on so hard all these years. Randall Key, what's going on? Dr. Meyer, chief of the research department, tried to prevent the loss of scientific data. Unfortunately, espionage was not his strong suit, and he was caught trying to back up the UFOpedia. Commander shot his old friend without even blinking an eye. There are still people loyal to our cause of driving the invaders back to arms. Base defense. Hey, hey, we're starting with the base defense, guys. Alien agents have invaded our base. The former XCOM commander is with them. He is most likely under mind control. We must stop the intruders at all costs. Retreating now will put an end to any attempt at stopping the alien agenda. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Alright. So we start out with a whole bunch of equipment to pick from and already equipped. Uh, we cannot pre-prime grenades. 
At least, not yet. Go ahead and change this up a little bit. Uh, so we have an assault rifle. Um, middle clicking doesn't do anything right now. So I guess we're just using what we have and don't quite know what everything does just yet. Uh, personal aid kit has two heals. I'm assuming you use that on yourself. I don't recall. Uh, the weight is pretty close already. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Um, like some cool looking guns down here. Heavy pistol, I mean, that looks pretty neat. Personal defense weapon. Submachine gun. Auto cannon. Grenade launcher, grenades, we have rockets. We have combat shields. Flashlight. Trauma pack. Stims injector. Incendiary rockets. Large rockets. Rocket launcher. We do have a sniper rifle. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw... Uh, or noticed. Uh, I think we're going to skip Stream Raiders again today. So I really apologize if you guys were kind of wanting to build up or, or play that some more. Um, I kind of wanted to focus on this today. Especially after such a short stream yesterday. Uh, I really want to get a good focus in on this. <laughs> exactly. Um, we have someone equipped with the multi-shot grenade launcher already. Each clip has five rounds. Uh, I guess we can test that out. Sure. Okay. Excuse me. We do have someone with a sniper rifle. Looks like a Older gentleman. I guess uh, we don't have age limits here, which is absolutely fine. Mm. Not sure, Zero Fox. Um, true, yeah. Yeah, the, the music, Finnick picked some really good music for this. Dang. This guy's got some, uh, demonic energy or something. Okay, this guy has the light cannon equipped. Alright, another rifle. Light machine gun, very nice. Noticing a definite lack of med kits. <laughs> I'm not sure how much healing we're going to get in. Finnick, you made it! Can we rename soldiers right now? Uh, no, we cannot. Not yet. Okay, another shotgun. I guess I could have moved some of these up here. Is that zero armor? I don't know. If it's like uh, vanilla, I think it's five. Maybe with a front of ten. <laughs> I 
All right, and we're back at the beginning. Uh, so from my experience, this loadout is pretty good. I don't think we really need to change anything. Oh, precision rifle versus sniper rifle. Okay. We do have two of those equipped. Um, nice accuracy. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I'm just double checking accuracy. Ooh, 70. Uh, the assault rifle could use that pretty well. Alright, I think we're good. Ah, uh, welcome back, guys. Oh, interesting pie. Oh, wow. So XCOM gets uh, pretty well obliterated. Alright, so we have a hangar here. Uh, we have the access lift here. We have a hangar down here. So, it, XCOM didn't even, didn't even have a third hangar yet, which is crazy, unless it got destroyed. Uh, which I guess it could have, it would have used to have been down there. Alright, kind of take a look around real quick. Don't see anyone yet. Uh, snapshot 16 time units. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Could they have dismantled the hangar in the time it took for them to uh, make it obvious they're trying to stop us? Unless I'm misunderstanding. Maybe things have been going on for days or weeks before Commander showed up. Nice, Finnick. I especially love the gym. That's a facility that, in my opinion, should just be something there by default. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, pretty uh pretty well wrecked up here. Okay, we're good with them. Yeah. All 
Oh, hey, guys. Thirty-six percent. Oh, and well, we missed our first shot. Uh, one thing I want to ask Finnick, uh, using the one and two keys, like the number keys, is that something uh, you maybe disabled on purpose? <laughs> yeah. I know, I think in Open XCOM, I don't think Vanilla has it. You have to have Open XCOM, but the, the number keys do. You broke it? On purpose or on accident? <laughs> oh, 20, jeez. Okay. Nargor, how's it going? Anyone here? Oh, hey, hey, Commander. <laughs> I think if we step here, he won't see us, and we can get away with not having a reaction shot. But that guy will see us. Uh, three fatal wounds. We're feeling pretty good. Oh, your last day. Ouch. But hey, software engineer. Heck yeah, man. Alizon, how's it going? Oh, gotcha, Finnick. Okay. But a flesh wound? Uh, oh, we actually have personal aid kits, so... Yeah, let's uh, back up here. Two more times if he survived. That's awesome, Nar Nargor. <laughs> Nargor. I'm glad to hear that, man. How's the horizontal tiling feel to you? Uh, I think I like it. It's different, so I'm going to have to get used to it. Uh, but it's nice that it, it's kind of out of the way right here. So, I, I think it's a good, good option. <laughs> nice, Lumen. Not the wounded one. <laughs> yeah, this is our one of our precision guys. Oh, and another thing too. Uh, Finnick has it set up to where it'll predict what you will be able to see when you move somewhere. So like moving here, we're not going to see anyone. Moving here, uh, I'm assuming it's saying we could potentially see this guy, but not this guy. 
So I really, really like that Finnick. So, like, moving here, now we would be able to see two guys. Even though we're not... We wouldn't be able to see them where we end up facing. But from that tile, we could see two guys. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really awesome. You know, coming here, we would be able to see this guy. You know? But if you don't see the unit, it's not going to tell you. Uh, what do you think still needs polish on it, Finnick? And the only thing I could think of that could use it is if it could detect the direction you face. So, like, if these were green instead of flashing red right here. Uh, but I, I honestly don't know if that's really necessary. Because... That's going to be very difficult to program. You know, and then right click. Uh, oh, so right clicking to clear that looks like it didn't clear that. So I guess that might be something to add uh, when there's not uh uh, a destination set, it should reset back to default, I guess. Yeah, but it, it, that's an incredible feature. Thank you, Finnick. Uh, so anyway, 41. Uh, it's going to take 15 to shoot. So really, we'll have 39 to shoot, which will leave us with uh, 24. Uh, and according to this, if we run, well, it takes a little extra to open the door, but it takes 12. So we can run out here, turn and shoot, and then run back and be safe. But I think we're going to do that. And he was ready. Wow. Okay. That was a big hit. Uh, we are just going to walk back, though. Save on energy a little bit. Check him out. He is bleeding. So he does have at least one fatal wound. Uh, we are going to swing around this way. And get shot at. Thanks, cat. My cat's uh, rearranging himself on the bed and bumped into the webcam. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. Alright, so we could do an auto shot on this guy. I think we will. Uh, so that'll leave us with two. That'll leave us with 20. Alright, so we can make it into cover, so let's do it. Oof. That was... That was close. <laughs> yeah, we are drained from that running. Kind of crazy. Uh, that is everybody, guys. End of turn one. Cool. One of those guys died. Wow, no one came at us? I'll take it. I will not complain.
<laughs> Hello, sir. All right, we're healed up. Gotcha. Okay, Finnick. Oh, nice, dude. Good deal. All right, we will turn and shoot. And hop back in. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. Dang. Nice. That that's a really smart thing to do. I'm going to assume this guy moved quite a bit, so I think he won't reaction fire? Okay. Uh, we have plenty of time, yes. Alright, let's step, like, way over. Hey, guys. Uh, 15 time units for snapshots. Uh, that will allow us to get back in, but we will be facing backwards. But I think we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Looks like we could use shotties, <laughs> for sure. Actually... Wonderful shot. Okay, we're not using her to shoot. Fantastic shot. Actually, I wanted to kill him. Uh, I did not did not do what my original plan was. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Take your time. Okay, no reaction fire, please? Or actually, no. Here. Okay, phew. Uh, that guy... Oh, that was a nice big hit. Uh, alt age? No. Control Shift H? No. There it is, Control Alt H. Uh, so we had two big hits on him. He's bleeding profusely, so I'm not going to bring anyone out to finish him because he's just going to bleed out. The plans have changed, mistakes were made. <laughs> this is Veteran. You know what, I guess we can take another shot. Might as well. Let's get let's get the accuracy spread around a little bit.
Uh, 15. So let's not move so that we have three reaction shots. Uh, we know of two guys over here. One might be trying to sweep this way. Uh, he was somewhere like right... Like right here-ish. So taking the time units to move up here and then move again. I'm hoping we have more time units than him. Reactions 43 is not the best. But with that many time units left, I'm hoping we get shots off if he comes around the corner. If he tries to come this way, I don't think he'll have enough to get shots off. Um, I guess I could be wrong. Uh, we'll leave him there without moving so he has more time units to shoot. Uh, same with you. And we're not going to worry about... Well, let's scoot you up. That'll work. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Iron Man right now. Very true, Yagos. Uh, turn you around so we can get that. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay so armor is zero uh, for that question that was asked earlier. Uh, I'll get that real quick. End of turn two. That was a quick turn, guys. So we know the commander's left. Um, this guy was bleeding out, so one of these guys may have been one or two of the ones over here. We took this guy out from inside here. So there's probably not much left. Exactly, paper suits. Okay, here's this guy. Um, flashbang. Uh, it takes 36 to throw. Okay, target is dazed. We're dazed as well, unfortunately. That's okay. Commander's right here, waiting for us to blast him. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we can get shots off from the doorway. Yes, we can. Ah, so no one did come over this way. Um, how are we going to handle the commander? Still not seeing anyone. Have a nice death. Rigor Raven, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Wait, hold up.
All right, 25 time units for an auto shot. We could get it off, but then we're kind of open if anyone else is in here. But we could quite easily check. <laughs> we could also grenade him with a proximity grenade. My guess is he probably has some time units left, so he'll get some reaction shots off if I try to hop out with anyone here because his vision follows this line so anyone stepping out could get a shot I think the best bet is to have Rapata run up and just blank him no, no melee weapons equipped uh, and then once that's done Take a look inside here, see if there's anyone else, and deal with it then. Blast him! Oh, one shot. Okay. Let's hang out there for a reaction shot. Oh, nice, Finnick. Consider disabling him? Uh, no, he's a traitor. <laughs> um, oh, we do have punching. Uh, I guess I could have disabled him. I did consider it. I did consider it, uh, but by not disabling him, I leave that open for a second run. Ah, uh, ah, uh, second run. Hello, sir. <laughs> we could get a shot off. Do we try the point blank shot? So he'll still see us here, I think. It should have Will Smith the commander. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. 46%, and if I shoot, that's almost a guaranteed reaction shot. At least one. <laughs> nice pie. Um, the Finnick, I like. I like how you did that. Um, I think it adds to the story quite a bit because it, it's it's the plot. The UFOPD has been encrypted. Uh, Dr. Meyer tries to decrypt it or, or or copy it, but he gets stopped and killed. So it's encrypted. Like, we don't know. Um, and I think it, it would be too difficult to put something in to where it's like, if you middle click, it'll say like, oh, you know, this, it does a lot of damage or it does minimal damage. I think, because you're going to know what a gun does if you have experience with it. You might not know exact details because you don't have access to, like, the database. But you're going to know, oh, I can shoot this three times in rapid succession. So that's what an auto shot does. So you know you can do an auto shot. I think it'd be probably too difficult to program something like that in, like, extreme basic knowledge, you know? Uh, but, I mean, actually, that kind of works, because you still have this. You know, you know, if you look at it, oh, I know I can do a snapshot, or, um, or, yeah, I know I can do an auto shot with this. So I guess that kind of does what I'm saying. Exactly. This goes boom. I know that. 
Ugh. I don't want to lose anyone, but I'm so afraid of this missing. Alright, cool. <laughs> that works. Alright, snapshot. We'll bring you over uh, for two potential reaction shots, 37%. Just in case someone's around the corner and we didn't know it. Uh, we do have someone still alive. Which is kind of scary, because we don't know where he's at. That's awesome, man. I think that's... That's a fantastic idea. Uh, we know no one's this way. We know no one's here. And I don't remember doors opening, so I don't think anyone's in these. I'm a little concerned someone was coming back this way and they're going to come around here or that they're up here somewhere. What's going on? This is Phoenix mod. Uh, it's called From the Ashes. Ah, okay, Phoenix. Nice. I'm doing pretty well, thank you. Here's a link for the mod, by the way. Yep. Yeah, uh, Finnick has made a lot of uh, engine changes, and uh, Finnick, correct me if I'm wrong, but the best way to describe it would be, like, you've kind of developed your own engine or scripts. Yeah, 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 Finnick has done some crazy work with this. Uh... I can scoot here. I don't know. I'm not sure why it shows that. What? How did he get up here? Oh, wait a second. That guy that I put there came from here, so that guy came through earlier. Oh my gosh. Dang it! I didn't... I gotta restart, guys. I gotta restart. I lost someone. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Wow. That was the last guy.
Sounds good, Finnick. I, I've been trying to figure out the best way to word it. Commander's Log, number one. As a senior officer, I took command. I hope I'm experienced enough to cope with the situation. Our enig enigmatic foe is retreating. When our soldiers got to the ground level of the base, the remaining men in black plunged into two black vans and fled eastwards. The attempt to follow them has failed. If you think about it, the situation overall is hardly better. We have lost the funding and supply source and know very little about our enemy. Apparently, alien agents have infiltrated deep into government structures, probably even the council itself. What is clear is that now we can only count on ourselves. In the meantime, it is necessary to gather status reports on the core units and understand what we still have what we still have to do. I've already submitted orders. It will take several hours for analysis. After that, it will be possible to plan further actions. Alright, Finnick, cool. Guardian Crow, what's going on? Oh shoot, we got... <laughs> we got a clip. Um... Okay. One XCOM operative was killed. I'm a failure. I'm a terrible commander. It only takes one moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want to see mine. But we did kill ten guys. Uh, about half or so gained some stats, some accuracy, uh, strength. A couple people really beefed up. Loot. Uh, we got a, we got a few things. Couple promotions to sergeant. Few, I should say. We did lost uh, lose the commander, yeah. But we lost him dead. All right, guys. So here we are on the map. Let's go ahead and get a save in real quick. <laughs> Stream one, because. Uh, Let's just say there will probably be more. Um, okay. Intercept. We do have a Dragonfly and Stalker needing repairs. You claim the highest accuracy for sniping purposes? Ah, oh, gotcha, Pi. New run? New run, new game. New run, who dis? Okay, so we have our base, Last Stand. Good name. We have our soldiers. We have some in the Dragonfly already. We have combat training. Uh, they are wounded, so I think that's why they can't go in yet. I guess we'll just go down the list. Definitely think I'll get another gym if possible. Oh, nice, Finnick. Uh, I guess I can get some names if you guys want. From the ashes. Um, oh. Pi. Uh, you want sniper name? Five. 
Finnick wants the sniper. Uh, so give give me a um, name and like job, I guess. Is this by? Guardian Crow, you'll take a heavy. Everyone wants a sniper. <laughs> Dab and hydrate. All right, we'll get that in there. Very good music. So, so far I have Pi, Finnick, and Guardian Crow. Was there... Did I miss anyone? Shira. You said good reactions or likes to use hand to hand. Chocolate Fire Guard? Tell me the name and class, I guess, or style. You asked nicely, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I I try not to like put naming stuff behind things. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Um I just haven't wanted to. Lawman, that would be cool. Um, uh, X-Pirates had a weapon that was like that. You could, it, it acted like a blaster bomb. You could set destinations, like two or three. Yeah, there are specializations, like Phoenix said. So there are kind of like classes you can pick from. A heavy or a bow if there are bows. Dual SMGs? Uh, I mean, we could do dual SMGs. But in this engine, it just wouldn't be worth it. But I'd be more than happy to have a melee weapon. Woman? A uh, lawman, just do um, just lawman, or do you want the numbers in there as well? Light machine gun grenadier. I guess we're finishing this uh, this first part, getting uh, 
people set up. Because it is time for a break. Gotcha, Pi. No, no problem. Uh, did I miss... A Talum Grandmaster. Okay, heavy weapons. No Commando 3 speed bonus. Oh man. Just Lawman? Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so I have Pi, Finnick, Guardian Crow, Shira, Chocolate Fire Guard, Lawman, and Talon Grandmaster. Did I miss anyone? Let me know. We're going to take a super short break. Um, I'll work on it. I'll, I'll work on the list um, while we're on break. Um, but it won't be long, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 